Hello everyone, it is Erin Flitter here and I am here setting up the pages for my five year and 10 year plans as well as some planning pages for those plans, which sounds a little weird, but I think you'll understand once I get into it. So I looked up a bunch of templates on online, just like random Word documents, things like that, of different types of five year and 10 year plans. And so when I was looking at these plans, it seemed like the quote unquote five year plan itself is extremely simple. And then what goes into like, it, it's a little bit more broad based instead of like very detailed plans and goal setting. So I decided to take the cue from that and I decided to just set up two pages with five sections on each page, one for the first five years, one for the second five years. So that way I have my five year and my 10 year plan kind of in the same area. I am about to be 31. So I feel like it's kind of time for me to start thinking ahead towards the future and not just kind of on a day-to-day -day basis or a year-to-year -year basis, I think I really need to start thinking about things long-term because I think that's just what you're supposed to do. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm incorrect with that, but for me, it seems like it's right about time for me to try to figure out the next steps in my life and plan accordingly. You know, if, if you are trying to do something in 10 years, that is very costly. For example, it's a high about time that I need to start saving for said things instead of just living my life as if I need to get by, you know, every year. I do have a very secure job. So I'm lucky in that respect because I, I work for the federal government so, and I'm not a last hire, so if they do, like, pink slip us um, in the future, I'm probably not going to be one of the ones that gets pink slipped. Um, I mean, we hope. <laughs> uh, I definitely hope. But I, there are chances of me getting furloughed and things like that. But at the moment, it doesn't seem like that is a worry because every time we've gotten furloughed, we've always gotten back pay for that. So I'm, I'm in a very secure position is what I'm trying to say. So now I need to start thinking next steps for my future, you know, whether it is about family, it's about homes, it's about, you know, uh, more animals because a four isn't enough for me. <laughs> so I, I just want to start thinking towards the future, especially career and business wise and financially. Those are my three areas that I really want to start planning things out accordingly or like what my, what my ultimate wish list would be for five years. For example, in my career, um, it would be nice, uh, to move into a management position or, uh, for my business, it would be nice to, um, hire actual people and, so that it's not just on me. So things like that would be really, really helpful. But of course, all those things come with different types of planning with them. For example, my business, I obviously need to get bigger before I want to, you know, it's, it's like a chicken and an egg situation. It's like, you feel like you can't get bigger until you hire other people, but you can't hire other people until you get bigger. Right. Like, like it feels like it's this like weird cycle for me. So anyways, uh, that's a lot of rambling for me just to say, I have these two sections for the year, the benchmarks, and then the action steps for those benchmarks. So I have it scheduled out years one through 10, and I do have a little space so that I can do the multiple types of plans. It's not just like one goal for my personal life. It's like, 
I do have space in there so that I could do one goal for my personal life, one goal for my financial, one goal for my business, one goal for my career. So that's kind of what I'm setting up here is one of the things that I read about five-year plans is it's more about creating, like manifesting that type of life. Obviously, it's these are goals, right? <laughs> They're not necessarily set in stone. And especially when some of these things are very much impacted by outside factors. For example, if I want to go into a career po or a management position for my work, I have to get chosen for that, right? And I have to apply for those things. And I have to like work my way up. There has to be positions available, things like that. So some of these things are not not totally smart goals. Some of them are hard goals, which is what I'm putting up here because it's one of the things that I've tried to do with my quarterly goal planning and things like that is to do these smart goals where it's very specific. It It's based on a timetable. It's realistic, all these kinds of things. But when you're talking five-year goals and 10-year goals, it's not so much a smart goal as it is a hard goal, which is heartfelt, animated, required, difficult. Um, and I will include some more information about smart goals versus hard goals in the description down below. But basically, it's just me trying to think about what my ideal situation would be for five years. And so I also created um, this thing on the left, which is like the type of goals, the, oh my God, I already forgot. Oh, the action steps um, or skills that you need for those goals. And then the why. Um, and then that is on the left-hand side. And then I do kind of a mind mapping page on the right-hand side for my finances, career, personal, and business. I have the start of a mind map. And this is something that I need to think about, like <laughs> not during a video, but it's something that I need to like really internalize what my feelings are, how I want to do them, what my actual goal is, things like that. So I do have a section for goals, the action and skills required for that goal, and then a section for why on the left-hand side. I probably should have reversed that, but I didn't really think about doing a why until after I set this up. That side was going to actually be my mind map section, and then I decided to switch all the things around. So, but you know what? Maybe the why is a good thing to think about first. Like, why do you want this goal aside from just this is a goal you know what I mean I don't know <laughs> this is a very rambly rambly voiceover and I'm sorry for that but that's how I feel about my goals is very rambly I hear a lot of different things in my head and what society expects what my dad uh my dad is like a big like future planner so he is often giving me different types of suggestions and things like that for looking towards the future. So for me, it's it's kind of like, okay, well, what do I do? And so there's all these voices in my head because I'm 31 and I feel pressure, which is stupid, but I, I do feel pressure um, now that I'm on this side of 30 to try to figure out my life. <laughs> so anyways, with all that said, here is the two spreads. Um, so I have a mind map, a section for really just brainstorming the goals, and then the actual five-year and 10-year plan with the benchmarks and action steps. So that's kind of how I put these two spreads together. I hope this video was helpful. Um, even if it's just me rambling. And um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.